Claymation is a fun, interactive way to make stop motion videos with clay and all sorts of various objects. Here's a quick rundown on Claymation and some tips to get you started on your own creative ideas. In the Claymation kit you received, you'll find all sorts of clay, objects, tools, and mediums used to help you get set up for filming your set. There are a few other things you'll need to get started. First, find your workspace. You'll want a nice, roomy workspace to set up your filming area. Tables, countertops, or even floor space will work. You'll need bright light. Lighting is important for getting your pictures to show up bright and clear. You can use lamps from around your home, or even natural light coming through windows in your home. Lastly, a camera for taking pictures. You can use your standard photography camera, smartphone, or tablet with built-in cameras. Once you have your claymation kit, workspace, lights, and a camera, you're ready to start. Included in your kit are some white and blue sheets of construction paper. These work great to create the background and setting for your filming area. You can use the blue for water or sky. There's a roll of colorful construction paper you can cut out to use as well. There's also some sandpaper you can use to represent sand or give your clay some texture. How you build your set and what you make out of clay is entirely up to you. The advantage of claymation is there's no limit to how creative you can get. See what kind of creatures or objects you can make out of clay. There's all sorts of colors to choose from in your kit. You can also mix together different colors of clay to create your own custom color too if you'd like. One thing you can do to enhance your clay creation is to give it texture. There's a couple tools and textures in your kit you can use to give your objects some sort of cool designs. See what other objects you can find around your home to make other neat designs in the clay. Once you have your clay objects made in scenery, you're ready to start taking pictures. First things first, you'll want to set up your camera. You want to make sure that you keep it stable as you take pictures. If you move it or bump it, it will shift your picture angle, making your final video not the best quality. You can use sturdy objects with some clay to support your camera, or a tripod if you have one. These will help keep the camera nice and stable. To start taking pictures, place your objects in your scene where you would like them to start. Then take a couple initial photos before you start moving them. Then you can start to move each object in between each photo. You only want to move your objects a little bit at a time. Patience is key here. The smaller the movements in between each photo, the better your video will turn out. Take a picture, move the object a little bit. Take another picture and move it a tiny bit more. Repeat this until your object or scene has done what you've wanted it to do. Here's a quick time lapse of an underwater scene we created. Once you're done taking photos, you can compile them into a video. If you upload the files to a computer, you can use various video editing softwares to compile your photos. You can also use the video software on your smart device or tablet. Once you upload the photos into the software, you can arrange them and edit them as needed. You may have to change the brightness on a few photos so that they match your others, as lighting can change throughout the filming process. Once in the video software, we recommend setting the duration of each picture to 0.3 seconds. That's a good starting point to see how your objects will move in the video once you hit play. Once you've changed the duration of each photo and finished any final edits, you can then hit play in the software and watch your claymation come to life. It's rewarding viewing the end result and watching your short film in action. And that's about it. Remember to be creative and have fun while you make your claymation movies. Happy filming!